but this time I'm uh, recording while driving in the riding in the night uh, so let's see how that goes actually uh, I'm heading out for the uh, Christmas party for the um, uh, motorcycle riders club so uh, it's gonna be fun and uh, the last week we had that uh, adventure riders uh, motorcycle uh, show uh, with a lot of adventure bikes and unfortunately the BMW guys backed out so we had to put our bikes out there uh, which turned out pretty good so that was fun you probably saw some Instagram uh, photos of my stuff <laughs> and uh, it's beautiful today it's about 55 degrees I guess right now but uh, sunny and clear uh, so that was a lot of fun there so we uh, saw Bill Dragu who's the off-road guy he had some classes uh, which I plan to take sometime next year and uh, MC rider who basically was used to be a MSF instructor and uh, he has his own YouTube channel and on how to ride and stuff like that so that was uh, fun getting to meet those guys and talking to them and chatting to them chatting with them about all the different stuff they do and uh, uh, what I've been doing is <laughs> again now uh, watching my good old YouTube videos of the BMW Riders Academy Maybe next week I might just head out to uh, to one of those uh, uh, areas here. We have Rocky Ridge Ranch, maybe uh, to practice some of my skills. I finally figured out there are a couple of things which is really, really necessary for me to pick up, which is uh, getting comfortable standing and stopping and also starting when standing on the bike and even when the bike is about to stop you have to be standing and get one feet on the ground so that's going to be a skill that we need to practice really really well and also slow turns if I get these two skills I think I should be in a good shape where I'll have enough confidence to go uphill, downhill, water, sand or any other stuff. So that's what's been happening. The good thing about Texas is uh, the winter is not much. Uh, in the sense you can still ride. It's not like snow and slush. So it's cold but it's at least dry and you can ride. So that's why we ride all through the year here. Which is, which is what I enjoy. Normally I don't uh, ride on the city roads and take the bike out on the city because, you know, it's not you. I gotta worry about everybody else and I don't want to be worrying about other people when I'm riding. And that's no point, no fun. So that's why I try to stick to the right lane. So I have to worry about only on the one side. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're just going out to uh, the Christmas party. And uh, uh, let's see how that goes. I'm just recording uh, a little bit here because I wanted to get a feel of uh, the night ride. I wanted to see how it comes in the camera. So hopefully uh, we get some good footage. Uh, okay, enjoy the ride guys. I might just chirp in here and there. Talk to you guys later. Hopefully you won't see too many of those guys jumping out. There you go another guy. That's uh, so why you don't want to ride in the traffic. Takes a lot of focus, takes a lot of energy and <laughs> yeah, it's not, I'm not sure if it's worth it. See this guy making this turn.
beautiful cities of uh, Dallas, McKinney right here, we're passing through. Oh, the, the sky is always gorgeous. I'm not sure how much the camera is going to get it, but the orange, the colors, the pinks, and all kinds of stuff. This is gorgeous in this place. Getting closer, getting closer through all the traffic. This is my daily route, uh, not daily route, my weekly route uh, to hang out with the guys uh, for coffee on Saturday mornings. Of late uh, Saturday mornings I've been doing other things so I've not been able to come over here. So uh, in case I don't do anything or I plan something for Sunday then I can show up here. So that's the Starbucks gang. We get together, chat all the problems of the world, all the motorcycle issues. Yeah, they're a bunch of really eclectic guys, so it's a lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoy that. And, uh, well, let's see, I think we got another probably 15 minutes to get there. So we will keep on riding. Riding, riding. A lot of the guys have got uh, dirt bikes and, and uh, you know they play around with the sand and stuff like that. But I think the dirt bike skill is a little different skill than uh, than the street bike or an adventure bike, which you can take it out on dirt. So you know I've been watching some videos. Dirt bike is a lot lighter, and the guys who ride dirt bikes eventually say you know what the dirt bikes get gets a little easy and after some time it's just going faster and faster and that's exactly what i don't like to do but as the adventure bike it's more fun going places seeing stuff you know riding around and all kinds of terrain just because the road stops you don't have to <laughs> uh that's the phrase which uh, everybody throws out there so i think uh I'm not sure I will ever get into the dirt bike stuff. You know, the whole deal about taking it, putting it there, and just have fun in the mud or something. It might be okay for a couple of weeks, but I think I'll get bored of that pretty soon. But uh, anyway, I guess it's, it's just not my thing. Okay, now we are heading to, this is the George Bush, I think it's the H.W. Bush Parkway. That is basically a toll road going all around Dallas. And just across from that is uh, UTD, which is, uh, which is where my kids go to college. And the Starbucks is right there in the corner. And that's where I need to make a left to go to this place. This is actually a uh, Mexican restaurant where we meet. So uh, they have a banquet room or something. So <laughs> I'm just going to hang out there and uh, attend the Christmas party. Normally I don't like to come for these meetings. It's just because it's on a weekday and uh, I'm busy doing other stuff on the weekday. <laughs> And also, uh, you know, I don't like to ride in the traffic, as you can see. It's a pain in the neck. But uh, there's nothing much can be done about this this time around. So let's get on with it. This is what you're coming to George Bush Park for. And a lot of people making left and go straight. Well, when I come here on Saturday mornings it's really empty. And now like crazy there you go buddy there you go. See the guy? That's the problem. It's always the problem. It's always the problem. That's why I don't like to ride in the day in the traffic. People trying to jump in front of you. I'm wiser as fog enough. Probably need to 
fix that pin lock again. I just need to open it up and put it back in. I don't want to open the vent because uh, it kind of messes up the mic, I guess. You get a little bit more noise from that. Anyway, so we just uh, probably got three, four miles from, from the place. So let's get on with it. Up, up. Just emergency braking, that's what it's all about. That's another thing I figured out. What I've been doing is, uh, earlier I was using my rear brake too, separately. But then, uh, as the front brake and the rear brake are linked, in the GSA, if I press the front, it automatically presses the rear. So I was kind of thinking maybe the rear, if I press it separately, it, it stops faster. But the problem is, you know, you use the rear brake on a turn or a curve, uh, you know, you're more likely to low side. So I've been starting to not use the rear brake and just use the front even for emergency braking. So that works pretty fine, you know. It's just a matter of getting adjusted to it, I think. I have to open the vent because it's getting a little too fogged up. But I don't want to get into trouble. Okay, yeah, a lot clearer, a lot clearer. See the guy left turn, oh, see the guy, that's the problem, buddy, that's the problem. That's the problem. You're gonna hit those left turn guys. That's one of the most dangerous things you can do. Uh, what to do? People are in a hurry to get somewhere. This is the Central Expressway, which is 75 which goes north-south. That is a pretty crowded road. <laughs> you want to stay away from that one, especially if you're riding a motorcycle. So, what else is going on with all you guys out there? Nothing like getting a motorcycle. Man, motorcycle is so much fun. Thank you, God. I think this is a great thing to have. And also this camera and the YouTube, <laughs> you can keep talking to yourself. Oh, Jupiter, right here. Gotta make a right. No, I probably will make it on time. I thought I'm going to be a little late, but it looks like 6.30. I might just make it. Uh, traffic seems to have come down a little bit. I normally go into this left lane, but it's for the motorcycle. It's either the left or the right lane, not the middle. And the middle this is a dangerous lane. Okay. Oh, look our drive coming up on the left hand side. Motorcycle guys are parked.
wasn't too bad. Hey, Craig. Morning, how you doing, buddy? How's it going, Craig? Doing good. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Yep, I thought I'd just ride in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Clubs, specifically and members, it'll just take a little time to get working through that. The BMW rep for uh, Texas region is a member of our club. Steve Avalos is in Pflugerville. Uh, he joined, talked to him two or three times. Uh, hopefully he'll get a chance to ride with us when we go to the Hell Country next time. Out of those 58 rides, uh, we completed 56 rides. We had two canceled because of weather. And when I saw that statistic, I got to thinking that uh, this has been one of the wettest years in North Texas history. And for us to be able to get in 56 rides, I thought was really lucky. <laughs> you know, I can't put it any other way. Timing was great for us. Now, out of, out of the 56 rides that we did this year, 18 of those rides were our day rides. That's like a Saturday and a Sunday. Nine of the rides were uh, our third Sunday breakfast ride. Two. Okay. Do some. Craig is going to have to help me with this. Sure. Uh, we have T-shirts from. Come on. Okay, let's give away two or three of these t-shirts from uh, BMW North Dallas, or what we know as the Plano Club. Uh, first ticket is 707. Okay, we can do that. All right, let's move on to 716. I'll put it back in. Is that a BMW shirt? Yeah. I give one. Give it to me. I'm not going to act. I have gold. I gave it to you. Okay. What are you doing in this club? Yeah. Where's the verse? Where's the verse? <laughs> okay, that was fun. We had the meeting there, and I won something too, which is always good. fun uh, got to meet all the guys and uh, I want something to <laughs> I want a $25 gift card to cycle center I believe so I'll be put to some good use but uh, that was good fun they talked about all the different rides and how many rides we did this whole year and it's a crazy amount of the rides. 56 rides over the year and uh, 18,000 miles covered. That's a pretty hefty, hefty uh, list. Anyway, now back on the road, heading back home. So, got to meet uh, some of the uh, 
BMW dealers here too so some of them are part of our club so it looks like uh, they said we need to go attend the uh, International Motorcycle Show which comes International Motorcycle Show which comes along every year because uh, Dallas is one of the smallest attendants I believe so otherwise they're gonna stop showing up uh, that'll be in a couple of weeks so that's probably be a uh, next vlog oh I might just head out to Rocky Ridge this weekend anyway guys it was good fun I'll put up the vlog and I will talk to you guys later Bye then.